But where do you release all that、mm. pain, all that grief, all that anger, all that fear, if not in art? Whether you're creating or consuming it, having that cathartic experience through consuming art or through creating it. And so, if we're shrinking that realm, we're shrinking what's allowed in the realm of art. We're shrinking the human experience essentially, because now all these other things have that are not allowed in polite society and your everyday expression. Well, they're no longer allowed in the realm of art either, and it doesn't get rid of them. It just Suppresses. That's, I think, what is one of the problems with our culture now, is this immature idea that to to censor, to ban, to make unspeakable is to erase, is to annihilate. It's not. It's to suppress, which has a cost because it comes out somewhere else. And so, tying all of this to individuality, I like to look at the experience of the individual. As one level, and then society as another level, and these two are tied, right? Because society is comprised of individuals. So if you have a society of repressed individuals, you are going to have a repressed society.